Good day, folks. Today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks for the GoPro Hero 6 Black. I did a video similar for the Hero 5 Black and I thought I would make an updated version for the Hero 6 Black. Now this tips and tricks video is geared towards new users of GoPro and uh, may show you some cool things you didn't know your camera could do. So the first tip is removing this protective lens cover and you may have to do so if you ever get it scratched or you've dropped it and you've broken the lens. Now some accessories require you to take the lens off such as the dive housing suit for the Hero 6 Black but also like this filter set from Polar Pro. To use these ND filters from Polar Pro you have to remove the protective lens cover from the Hero 6 Black and these ones replace it. Now removing the lens cover can be a little tricky and uh, you do have to use a fair bit of force. Uh, don't get frustrated on your first attempt. It took me a few tries to, uh, to get it. So I find it best if you grab it from the top and bottom and pull towards yourself and then just slowly twist and as you see it slowly comes off just like so. So to replace it you're just going to line up the holes again put some force and then just snap it back in. Now the next tip is removing the side door. We all know you open the door and you can charge it but if you pop the door off just like so. Now that allows you to mount this in the frame that came with the GoPro and uh, use an external microphone or a power bank to uh, charge it while you're using it. The other reason you would need to remove the door is for mounting this in things like the Karma Grip and the Karma Drone. Now the next tip I'm going to show you here is how to access your settings and change your settings via the front LCD there. Before touch screens were on the GoPro you could only tell what you were shooting at by looking at this front LCD. Now to access the settings on the front LCD screen we're just going to press and hold the mode button and touch the uh, record button at the same time. So press hold and touch and there you can see the front LCD has changed and now displays all your uh, settings, video, photo, whatever you need. So the Hero 5 introduced voice commands where you can control your GoPro with your voice. Now the Hero 6 introduced a new voice command where you can power on your GoPro with your voice. It's disabled by default so you need to enable it and we do so by going to Preferences and then scrolling down to where we see voice control and this little option here where it says wake on voice. We're going to switch that to on. Once you've enabled that feature you can now command your GoPro to turn on with your voice. GoPro turn on. Your GoPro will listen to the turn on command for 8 hours after the last time you've had your GoPro powered on. Now another little tip here for new users is that the GoPro can shoot right side up or upside down. Sometimes it's easier to mount your GoPro upside down in certain situations. So it doesn't matter if you shoot video the right side up or upside down. The GoPro will automatically rotate your footage in the GoPro app and uh, everything will be displayed correctly. Now for my next tip here I'm going to show you how to set the auto lock for the screen. Sometimes it's easy to accidentally hit something and change a setting when you don't mean to. Older GoPros lock the screen by default on the Hero 6. You have to do it manually. And to do so we're just going to swipe down from the top and we're going to hit that little lock icon. Swipe back up and the screen has been locked. So if we go to touch it or do something nothing's going to happen. We're just going to get a little message here to swipe down. So that's how we unlock it. We just swipe down from the top and we tap it and it will stay in this auto lock mode indefinitely and I'll show you here you can see there after a short period of time it automatically locks again so if we want to disable the auto lock we just do the same thing we uh, tap to unlock screens unlock but then we got to go back to the setting we touch that and now auto lock is off now for the next tip I'm going to show you how to disable the beeps. For the most part the beeps are handy, it tells you when you're recording, but there are those situations where you don't want to uh, be disruptive, you know you might be in a church filming a wedding or something like that. So what we do is we're going to swipe down from the top, we're going to click on preferences, and we're going to scroll down to the general area and we see where it says beep volume. So we click on beep volume and we can set it at different levels here, high, medium, low, and we can go all the way down to off. So now if I hit record, it'll start recording, but it doesn't give us any beeping noises. So that brings us to our next tip. You might be in a situation where you want to preview some of your media, but you're in a place that's quiet and you don't want to disturb the people around you. So we can adjust the playback volume. So if we bring up a video that we want to watch. So in order to adjust the playback volume, we just swipe up while the video is playing. And there is the... Uh, volume control. You can turn it to whatever level. You can turn it right off or you can turn it up louder if you need. 
Now another thing you can do while in the media section is filter by video and photo and to do so we just click on that little arrow and say you want to watch just uh, videos say you've got a ton of content on there but you just want to watch some of the videos you've shot you just select videos and now it'll filter just the videos and uh, you don't have to uh, scroll through a lot of photographs that you may have taken. Now the other thing you can do during media playback you can add highlight tags just by clicking the little tag button there. Now the reason you would want to do that because that way when you import your footage into the GoPro Quick app it'll automatically know the important parts and it will be able to help you edit a video quick and easy. The next tip I'm going to show you how to use the exposure lock. If you're shooting something and say you want to lock the exposure to the sky because uh, you want more detail in the sky, if you press and hold on the screen it will set the exposure properly to what area you have pinned and you can drag it around and uh, see how things uh, change exposure. Now I'm inside here so it's not uh, quite doing it correctly but basically you find an area that you want to lock the exposure on and then you hit the check mark and now the exposure will stay locked on that specific spot. Now I got one last little tip here for you and it's kind of an important one. The battery on the Hero 6 is not too bad but it's not great. Uh, you can get about an hour to an hour and a half of recording out of one battery. But if you have limited battery power and you still have lots of shooting to do, what you can do is lower the brightness of the LCD screen and that will save you a ton of battery power. So to do that we're going to slide down from the top, we're going to go to preferences and we're just going to scroll. until we come to the brightness setting. We're going to click on it and here we can go all the way down to 10%. At 10% it's still bright enough to see what you're doing but you're going to save a lot of battery power. Now on bright sunny days it does get a little difficult to see but to remedy that you can just cover your hand and block the sun and uh, you'll be fine. That is probably one of the best battery saving tips for the Hero 6 Black. I have other battery saving tips I've done a video on and you can do a search on my channel for that. It gives you a couple other tips you can utilize to save battery power on your Hero 6 or your Hero 5. Now if you're new to the GoPro world I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Every week we bring new videos, tutorials, training videos, we review new GoPro hardware. And while you're at it feel free to browse through my back catalog of videos. I'm sure there's something there that uh, will be of interest for you. Well folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found something of interest. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you in the next one.